Hello everyone, the Senpai Code here. So this is going to be a quick solution and problem solving for if you have the Unity Package Manager error. Now it came in different alerts through the years. If you see some of these on the screen here, there's different versions of the alerts here, but they it will all say pretty much the same thing except for the older versions. They didn't actually say to make sure that uh, your antivirus is blocking it from actually installing the package manager or connecting to the server, stuff like that. So let's go ahead and diagnose this and try to fix this for you if you are getting this error. So the first thing that you want to do is it'll give you a file directory where to find it through if it's in applications, Unity Hub, but you want to go to wherever you have the editor that you are currently using. So here is my editor here. It's in my F volume, my F hard drive. So I do have quite a bit of hard drives. So make sure you find where you have your Unity editors. Like I said, follow that path and it'll tell you, it'll go 2022 and then it should be in the editors. And then what you want to do is go into the data. And then from data, you should have a resource folder. You want to go into the resource folder and you should have a package manager folder. And there should be some stuff in here. Now, if you don't have a package manager folder, this is what's going to be causing it. And so this is what's going to be causing this error most of the time, whether it's you're not actually downloading it or you're missing the files that could be a result of the antivirus blocking the download from actually happening. So let's go into how to actually fix this. So the first thing that we're going to do is try to make an exclusion for your antivirus uh, through Windows. So this is a Windows 11 operating system. If you have Windows 10, if you have a Mac, if you have a Apple, or if you have a different antivirus, you're going to have to look up how to do that with that antivirus. But for Windows 11, we can just come down to the search here. We can just go uh, security and it should pop up. Here's Windows security right here. So it's going to pop up here and through the virus and threat protection. So we're looking for the threat protection here. We're going to come down into here and then in the virus and threat protection settings, we're going to click manage settings. In manage settings, we're going to come down to exclusions. Here it is right now. We're going to hit add and I'm just going to hit yes. There's a Windows security pop up just saying, uh, am I allowed to basically modify it? And I'm just going to hit yes. So make sure that you have permission to do this. If you're not the main administrator on the PC, make sure that you're the main administrator so that you can make these adjustments. If you're, you know, it's a friend's computer or your parent's computer and you have a different user on there, you're not the main user, make sure that you're on the main uh, account. And to just clarify what you're actually going to be adding here, it's not going to be the file or the folder itself it's actually going to be the process and it's going to be called the I believe it's unity uh, package I believe that's how you spell it and then it's the manager dot uh, X and that is what you're going to be adding here right here and then you're going to hit add uh, I don't need to add it. I'm not going to change it but uh, that's what you're going to be adding there and I'm going to add this in really quickly post edit, as I forgot to mention, after you make that exclusion, try to restart your PC before you try to re-download Unity. And then for the next section, what we're going to do is actually disable the firewall. So for the firewall, like I said, depend on what antivirus you have, but it, it tends to be through the Windows, uh, what's it called? The firewall, which is, if I remember correctly, it's if I, actually just type firewall. Uh, Windows Defender Firewall is what it's going to be called. Let me straight that over. Turn Windows Defender Firewall offer on uh, private networks right here. We're going to turn off Windows Defender Firewall. It says it's not recommended, but you can do that when you download Unity, especially when you download a new uh, version of Unity, the editor, uh, if you want to upgrade and you've had this problem. Just turn this off right here, and that should allow you to actually download it. And then when you're done, just turn it back on, but make sure you have that exclusion. So, you know, when it scans again, it doesn't remove it. If it removes it, it tends to give a pop-up saying that it was removed. 
and I believe for the notification it should pop up down at the bottom it should be a pop-up if it does give you a notification and then you can click on it and then it will say that it removed the file because it was harmful there should be an arrow arrow at the bottom where you can click and it'll drop down it says like show more and then you can be like trust this or something like that I can't remember what it says but then you can uh, have it re actually applied but depends I've had instances where I've downloaded something that kept removing it uh, even if I did that so I'd have to make an exclusion for it but yes so if it does give you a notification saying it removed the file you can actually bring it back down through that the bottom but if not like I said make sure you have an exclusion make sure you turn off your Windows Defender firewall and then try to re-download it. And every time that you download a newer version of Unity, do the same thing and be safe when you do that. Like I said, I try not to recommend disabling firewalls and vir antiviruses, but sometimes you have to, you know. So another thing that I should mention is to make sure that you have the proper Unity detected and that you're using the proper one. So what you could do first is make sure that you have the package manager now. So I'm using the 2022 as an example. So I'll go back into the editor, the data, uh, where it had that error notification is basically where I'm going and where I showed you before. So the resources and then the package ma manager. I'm gonna make sure I have this folder here, this package manager folder. So if I do have that, what I can do is I would restart Unity Hub, so down at the bottom, you can't see it, but where my mouse is down at the bottom, it's actually on a different screen, so if I go over, there should be a drop down, a hide and unhide, so you wanna unhide your tray where your Unity Hub icon is gonna be, and you wanna actually quit Unity Hub and then restart it, so it should pop back up, and then from there, you can actually go to Installs, and then you can actually locate uh, if it's not here or if it's a different version, you can actually locate it yourself. So you'd hit locate here. Uh, you'd locate your editor, which is going to be the 2022 again. I'm going to select that editor. I'm going to go to editor here, and then I'm actually going to go down and find the unity.exe. Make sure you don't click on the uninstall unity XD. You want the unity.exe uh, application, and you're going to just select that editor. Uh, and make sure that you have the right one popped up. So now what you can do is if you're trying to create a new project, make sure that you select the right version. Uh, so right now it's on version six. So I don't want that one. That was the 2022 version, which is right here. Make sure you select that when you create it. And that way you know you have the proper one. If you were trying to open a previous project, let me just cancel that. What you wanna do is go down to the editor version and make sure you have the right one selected. And then you just hit open with down here if you're selecting a different one. And then you know that you are using the proper one that you're trying to use. And yeah, so those are the main reasons and solutions on why you get the Unity Package Manager error. It's updated over time before, you know, it didn't always say the antivirus. Uh, it would just say that you're missing the package manager files uh, like right here. But as it updated, it started adding that your antivirus may be blocking it or it's removing it. And antiviruses do that. Your firewall might be blocking it. So like I said, depending on what your system, what type of antivirus, you may need to disable your antivirus temporary when you download it, when you re-download it. Uh, but check the location. Make sure that you have the package manager file there. If not, you know why you're, you're now getting this error and you can go about getting that uh, package manager file uh, installed. And I hope this helped. If it did, you know, leave a like, comment down below so that others can find this solution to the problem and help out uh, with other people that are experiencing this as well. Uh, thanks for watching and I'll see you all next time.